Let's take a look at shell script basics, positional parameters. When writing shell scripts, there is often a need to accept one or more command line parameters from the user at the time that the script is created. Let's create a very basic shell script. The script will print a simple message. In order to run a new script, we have to modify the permission settings for the script file to enable the script to be executed. This command enables execution permission for the user and group associated with the file. Next, let's try running the script. The script ran, printing our simple message. Now let's take a look at our first positional parameter, $0. Within a shell script, $0 contains the name of the shell script as it was called when the script was executed. we see that our script successfully obtained and printed the name of the script. If we call the script with an absolute path, $0 will contain the value of that absolute path. Now, Let's modify the script to accept an additional command line argument. After making this modification, our script will now accept an additional command line argument. Note that bash processed the provided command line argument and made it available to our script as a variable. We didn't have to declare the variable, bash does that for us. Let's take a look at that script again. The value of the command line argument can be accessed using the $1 variable. Shell scripts can accept more than one argument. Bash supports multiple positional parameters.
Bash actually supports more than nine positional parameters. However, to access them, you will need to use the curly brace syntax for accessing bash variables. Instead of simply typing dollar and then the variable name, the variable name is surrounded by curly braces. We can also ask Bash how many positional parameters were supplied by the user. This information is provided by the dollar pound variable.